Have you ever wondered if there's an easier way to teach students how to solve word problems? Let's take a look at a short math strategy called cubes to help your students in remembering what steps to take when solving math word problems. Cubes is a mnemonic that students use to decode a math word problem. C tells a student to circle any key numbers that are found in the problem. This includes those in both numeric and word format. U means to underline the question. B instructs a student to box any action words in the problem, such as add, subtract, multiply, or divide. E is for students to evaluate and determine the steps they need to take. This should include strategies that they may wish to use, such as drawing a picture or setting up an equation. Students should also eliminate unnecessary information. And finally, S is for solve and check. Have students ask themselves if their answer makes sense and if there is a way for them to double check. The cubes method is great for visual learners because it allows them to interact with the word problem by dissecting and critically analyzing it. Let's take a word problem and cubes it. Three friends went out for dinner. Sandy had the most expensive meal at $14.25. The total cost of their meals was $36.90. If they added a tip of $6.60 to the bill, how much did each person pay if they divided the total amount equally? First, I need to circle key numbers in the problem. So I will circle 3, 1425, 3690, and $6.60. Next, I need to underline the question. How much did each person pay if they divided the total amount equally? Now I need to box the action words in the problem. I see that I have the action words total, added, and divided. Let's see what steps I need to take and if there is any unnecessary information. Because they are dividing the bill equally, I do not need to know that Sandy had the most expensive meal, so I can eliminate that amount. Let's evaluate the problem. There were three friends with a bill of $36.90 and a tip of 660. Now I can solve and check by adding 3690 and 660 to get 4350 and then dividing that amount by 3. So I get the answer of 1450. Is it reasonable? Is there a way I can double check? Well, I could add 1450 three times to see if my answer is the same as the bill plus the tip. And there you have it. This word problem has just been cued. <laughs>